All right, here we go. We're on chapter three in accounting. And we're going to be talking about using journals. And the, uh, the objective for this chapter is to be able to explain the layout of a journal and identify what source documents are used in a transaction. Okay. So you should have already went to the class website here and printed out the page. So here we are. You either grabbed it from the class, uh, the grabbed it from the blue shelving area in the class or here at the bottom um, page one you can print it out as well so this video will be explaining the notes found on page one so let's take a look so here we have a journal okay this is what a journal is going to look like and the definition for a journal which you're going to find on your notes the first thing in your notes is a form for recording transactions in chronological order. You need to write that down in your notes. If you need to pause the video to do that, that's fine, but make sure you have the definition of a journal in your notes. Now let's talk about this journal and kind of what it consists of. There's four parts of a journal, and this is going to be the second thing that you'll find on your notes. Now these four parts are going to be the date, which is found here. Okay. Your debit and your credit, which you can find throughout the amount columns here. Okay, debit and credit. Okay. And then the, uh, the last one is going to be your source document, which is going to be posted in these columns right here. Okay. So those are the four parts of a journal. Now let's talk about this journal. There's five amount columns on a journal, okay? Five amount columns. Now, the amount columns are located over here to the right side of the journal. The first amount column is gonna be your general debit. You're gonna have general credit. You're gonna have sales credit whoops, sales credit here, you're going to have cash debit, and last but not least, cash credit, okay, so those are your five amount columns found on a journal, okay, so once again, if you need to pause to write this stuff down, please do so, but you need to have all this stuff on your notes. Um, I am going to have an assignment with numerous questions asking you some of these things. Uh, you can use your notes, but if you don't have your notes, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult. So the four um, parts of a journal, date, debit, credit, um, source document, the five amount columns, the general debit, general credit, sales credit, cash debit, cash credit. All right, let's go to the next page here. Now one of the things that we used in the last chapter was these T accounts. Now there was a reason why we used these T accounts because they're going to help you figure out how you put things on a journal. Okay, so we're going to do an example of a T account. So hopefully you remember how a T account works. So you have your transaction here, paid cash for prepaid insurance, $500. Now your objective for T accounts was to figure out the two accounts that it goes in and the dollar amount which it goes on debit or credit. Okay, debit's always on the left, credit's always on the right. Your 500 has to go in two spots, um, one on each T account. Now for this transaction, paid cash for prepaid insurance, we have to figure out what two accounts it goes in. Do you remember what accounts it goes in? So the accounts that we are going to be used for this, you can always find them in the sentence, is prepaid insurance and cash. Okay, so you could write prepaid insurance on one of these and cash on top of the other one. Now this is also found on your notes, so you need to make sure you're writing this down. It's all on that first page that you have, and it's going to be at the bottom of the page. Now the expectations are that you're going to write down this transaction as well there's a spot right above those T accounts that says transaction where you need to write this down so that you know when we do these T accounts you know what transaction we are using to complete them. Alright, so you've written down the transaction hopefully. 
we figured out that it goes in prepaid insurance and cash. You've written that on your T accounts as well. Now we have to take this $500 and place it on the T accounts as well. Okay. So it goes in cash and prepaid insurance. Now the key is you need to figure out which side of cash and which side of prepaid insurance. Well, let's start with cash here. So cash, um, when you pay cash for prepaid insurance, your cash is going to decrease. Now you should have learned that any time cash increases, it goes up on the left side, and any time it decreases, it goes down on the right hand side. So in this case, cash is decreasing, so it's gonna go on the credit side of your cash T account. Now on your prepaid insurance, if it's a credit, you should know if it's credit on one, it has to be debit on the other. All right, so if you know for a fact that it cash is credit, then you're gonna know for a fact that prepaid insurance has to be debit. However, you should also know that anytime you buy prepaid insurance, it makes your prepaid insurance increase, which means that it has to go on the left side because that is the normal balance side of prepaid insurance. Now let's take a look. This is what you should have. This is the answer. Okay, so prepaid insurance is 500 on the debit. Cash is 500 on the credit. Make sure you write that down in your notes as well. You have the spot for your transaction. You have your empty two T accounts. So make sure you have that written down also. Now if I went too fast, go back, pause it, write it down. All right, so this is just reviewing what we just went over. We had a transaction for prepaid insurance. Here's the T accounts and how they should look. Now here's the key. Now we have these T accounts and we're gonna use these T accounts to figure out where this transaction goes on the journal. Okay, how it goes on the journal. So you'll notice up here, we talked about you have your general debit, general credit, sales credit, cash debit, cash credit. So this is our cash area right here. Now you'll notice that cash, we have our T account. Looky here, this looks like just like a T account here. Okay, and this is why we learned how to do T accounts. Because it's exactly the same. Okay, if this is our cash T account and it's cash credit, then it tells us on the journal it's gonna go cash credit. Um, we also, so cash is always on here. Cash is always gonna be found on the journal because we use it so often. Sales is always going to be found on the journal because we use it so often. However, prepaid insurance, we don't use it that often, so it's always going to have to be written in where the account title is located. Okay, it's going to be written in. Um, so, on this transaction, paid cash for prepaid insurance, the first thing you do is you take this July 4th, okay, you put it in the date area right here. Okay, you write it down in this area here. Okay, and I'm going to show you in just a second, I'll show you the answer. And now we're going to take our prepaid insurance and we're going to put it in the account title right here. Okay? Because there's nowhere over here where it's already listed. And as you can see down here, prepaid insurance, the $500 went on the left side or the debit side of the T account. So anytime we write something in this account area here, we're always going to use this, these general columns. Okay? These general columns that you see here. So it's on the debit side, so we're going to put 500 here, okay? So that represents what's in the account title. Now we already talked about this. Here's our cash. It's located on the journal, okay? It's located on here already. So we're going to take our 500 that we have here, and we're going to put it on the credit side, because it goes on the credit side of our cash T account. Um, so let's take a look. I have it all written on here. So let's take a look. This is what it should look like, okay? You have your date, you have your account title, you have your $500 in debit, general debit, you have your $500 in cash credit, okay? This is an example of how it would go on to a journal. All right, now this is, uh, you should be at the end of your first page. Um, flip it over or grab another sheet. You should be on page two now, so you're gonna go to the second video that explains the next step.